I'm a pretty big Melissa Broder fan at this point. I thought The Pisces was a really, really fantastic debut novel, and when I talked about it in a video however long ago, I framed it as me looking at one-star reviews of that novel and pulling those one-star reviews apart, because a lot of people don't like The Pisces, and I think those people are boring. So I wanted to look at what exactly annoys people about the Pisces and correct them because they're wrong. The Pisces is a really, really fantastic book and it's a great example of what we sometimes call the disaster woman. So often in literature, in fiction in general, women are seen as pure and good and men are allowed to be broken and damaged and aggressive and emotionally unstable and mentally ill, and women often are not. Women are often the objects of fiction rather than the subjects, and even when they are the subjects, they can be a little too good. Melissa Broder chooses to frame her female characters, her protagonists, as broken, fallible, damaged people who make mistakes and do strange things or are in need of help, etc. They're fucking human. I have now read Milkfed, her second novel. And a lot of people, perhaps this is just a thing when an author has two novels under their belt, start to compare these two novels. So when Milkfed came out, I didn't read it, I waited, but I kept seeing on social media and talking with friends and people were comparing Milkfed and the Pisces over and over. And I've now read it and I can't help but compare the two. And so I'm asking the question, is Milkfed better than the Pisces? Can you even actually compare them? So the Pisces is a kind of supernatural novel. It tells the story of a young woman who is spending a little bit of time on Venice Beach in Los Angeles and she ends up falling in love with and having a lot of sex with a merman. This merman is real, he is genuinely a mer person, so that is the supernatural element to it. But she's also having bad sex with other people, going to therapy, not getting the help she needs, and generally being a really selfish, nasty, horrible person. I loved the Pisces because of its depiction of its protagonist as a damaged, broken, selfish, horrible human being, whom I related to quite a lot. Milk-fed is a more grounded novel. It tells the story of a young 25, I think, year old woman who was born and raised in New Jersey and now lives in Los Angeles. And she's Jewish, but she's lapsed. She really knows nothing about Judaism. She was also raised by a mother who was a special kind of abusive. Abuse takes so, so many different forms. And Rachel's mother's parents are chubby, people who enjoy good food and seem to have a bit of a verve for life. But Rachel's mother is the complete polar opposite to her own parents. She instilled in her daughter a fear of fatness, a fear of food, a fear of enjoying culinary delights. And she would often use outright abuse and aggression verbally or passive aggression to make sure that her daughter became afraid of food, afraid of gaining weight, and Rachel has lived her entire life that way. She has had eating disorders, she calorie counts, and in the first chapter or two, that's her entire life, is calorie counting, she goes to the gym every evening for about three hours, and she meticulously chooses her food. But this has instilled in her not just a fear, but also an unhealthy attraction to food as well on the other side. She looks at things like cake and ice cream, and she knows she can have some of it if she's careful, if she is smart about it, if she's tactical. And the way that she describes this stuff, this naughty, naughty stuff, it makes you really sad for her, because she's constantly hungry, she sometimes indulges, but when she does it, she has to be meticulous about how she goes about it. Then she meets Miriam. Miriam is a fat Jewish woman around the same age as Rachel, and Miriam is working at a frozen yogurt shop. For some reason, Brits say yogurt and Americans say yogurt, right? But because you always think frozen and yogurt go together, it's hard for me to say frozen yogurt. It sounds ridiculous, but anyway. Frozen yogurt's just not as good as ice cream anyway, so what does it matter? 
So Miriam works at this frozen yogurt shop, which her family actually owns. They own like this whole chain. Miriam is also Jewish, like Rachel, but very orthodox, very traditional, very understanding of and embedded in her religion and culture, but Rachel just isn't. She's completely clueless. Miriam's also fat and really, really enjoys her food and is unabashed, unashamed. She loves food and that's just how she is. She doesn't think about it. She's not self-critical. She likes food. As a result, she's overweight. That's it. It's just a consequence of her enjoying the things she likes. And Rachel is obsessed with Miriam very, very quickly. She sees Miriam as an object of desire, as a person that Rachel could be, as the person that Rachel might have been if she had allowed herself to just enjoy life and she sexualizes Miriam, she obsesses over her physically, and she starts to try to date her. There is so much going on in Rachel's mind, and comparing her to the protagonist of the Pisces is easy to do in a sense, because these two protagonists are damaged and broken people who are in need of good therapy and a better attitude towards life to themselves, to the people around them. They're as damaged as the rest of us, but obviously a little more so because it's fiction and it's all a little heightened. But they're very, very, very different kinds of damaged. Now, as I said, The Pisces is a very supernatural book, whereas Milk Fed is not. There's nothing supernatural here. It is a grounded, literary, sometimes darkly funny, often very sexy piece of fiction. There's a lot of description in here about food, about sex, about intimacy, about the things that are very simple to enjoy in life. Food and sex, the two simplest and yet most joyful things in the world to so many of us. And it is also intimately described in a very raw and sexual and exciting way. But all of that also services Rachel's character, the way that food and sex, and food in particular, are described reinforces her unhealthy attitude towards those things. Someone who puts borders and barriers in an unhealthy way around the things that she likes creates an unhealthy attachment to those things, but it's an attachment at arm's length. She is enticed constantly by food and sex, and yet she only allows herself so much freedom, and so she is constantly teasing herself with these things. And now she's teasing herself with Miriam as an object of desire as well, but Miriam also represents bar and jail-free version of herself. The relationship between Rachel and Miriam is not a healthy one, and Rachel feels like she's falling in love with Miriam, but you also have to wonder, as an audience, We've seen the way she objectifies and the way that she fantasizes about certain things, certain people, certain acts. Is this love or is this just her repeating those same unhealthy habits? You sometimes feel like a therapist or a friend of Rachel's, watching her, examining her behaviors, her motives, her thoughts, her feelings, and there's so much to consider here. Now, I talked to a friend about these two books. The two of us are both huge fans of Broda and her books, but I prefer the Pisces and this friend of mine prefers Milk Fed. And the two of us realized that it was because we related to the protagonists of those two books. The protagonist of the Pisces is selfish, has an unhealthy attitude towards the people around her. She takes people for granted. She takes things for granted. She has an addiction to love, an addiction to sex, an addiction to intimacy, and yet it's all from a very selfish perspective. She doesn't really enjoy intimacy and talking to people and spending time with people and having sex with people, all those things. How do I even... She doesn't enjoy it on a two-way street basis. She has a selfish approach to intimacy with other people. This doesn't happen in the novel, but you can imagine if she was in a relationship with someone and she was having a bad day, she would demand the right kinds of intimacy, the right kinds of comfort, but she probably wouldn't reciprocate in the same way. And yet, she's also been very much abused and taken advantage of by the especially men in her life. Milk Fed, you've got a protagonist who is very, very different, but also mentally unhealthy and in need of support, but the right kind of support. For her, it's about the restriction she puts on herself. For her, it's about 
her relationship with her mother and how it has informed very badly her entire life, her relationship to people, food, even her career. These are two very, very different but equally broken people and you will relate to one more than the other. I related to the protagonist of the Pisces. I am an only child. I have a penchant for selfishness. I was spoiled and coddled as a kid and I have a sense of entitlement which I'm always trying to keep in check. And I invite you, if you haven't read either of these, to read them both and see which dark side of you relates most to the characters in these two books. They are very, very different but equally broken and you might not have the issues and the dark side that these two have, but you'll probably lean towards one more than the other, and probably Melissa Broder will bring out a third novel soon with a protagonist who is broken in a whole different third way, because we are complex. So the question of which one is better is tough. I have already stated that I prefer the Pisces because I relate to it. I also like the Pisces because it's darkly funny. Its relationship towards sex is funnier than in Milk Fed, in my opinion. Milk Fed is also a very, very queer novel, and its relationship to sex seems more honest. In the book, Rachel is bisexual. I am pansexual. And from my perspective, Rachel treats sex in a way that is more honest than what you find in the Pisces. Her relationship towards sex, intimacy, dating, kissing, everything is heartfelt. And it's heartfelt because it's something that she has an unhealthy relationship to, and when she allows herself to enjoy it, she really, really enjoys it, just like with food. In the Pisces, this is a character who has an addiction to love, a need to be shown affection and attention. And as I said, these are the things that I related to. And so... You know, I was talking for so long about one point, I don't even remember how that point started. Anyway, the relationship between milk-fed and sex seems more earnest and, I would say, wholesome than in the Pisces. Milk-fed is also, I think, a smarter book. I think it's more literary. Partly because it doesn't have that supernatural element, which, you know, genre fiction versus literary fiction, I have a complex relationship with those things. But it makes milk-fed easier to call literary fiction because it is entirely grounded in reality, whereas the Pisces is not wholly. But that's messy. Anyway, I do think Milk Fed is a more mature novel. I think that Rachel is a slightly more complex character than the protagonist of the Pisces. Miriam also, as a character, is far more fleshed out than any supporting character in the Pisces. The Pisces really is about the protagonist. I can't remember her name. I'm pretty sure you've realized that by now. But Miriam is given a lot of weight as a character in Milk Fed. There are other characters in Milk Fed, and those characters are very much seen from Rachel's perspective. You generally just know them through her eyes, and so they seem a little caricatured. There is a man, for example, who is a film actor, and he keeps flirting with her. Her job is uh, at a talent agency, and he is the talent. And he's clearly supposed to be Andrew Lincoln from The Walking Dead, but very, very obnoxious. From everything I've seen, Andrew Lincoln seems like a really nice guy. But this guy is a caricature of a small town guy who has suddenly made it really, really big and famous and rich, and is just riding that wave of ego. He's caricatured. Miriam is not caricatured. Her family are not caricatured. In fact, there is a scene where Rachel is having dinner with Miriam's family and politics and religion come up in conversation and it is handled very, very delicately, very sensitively. And when I was reading it, I read it in complete silence. The tension of that scene is incredible and you don't really find any scenes like it in the Pisces. The Pisces, as I said, has a funnier, more silly, more caricatured, more absurd attitude towards sex and therefore also towards the characters that the protagonist spends time with intimately. This book is not like that. It is broader. It has a grander emotional spectrum that it explores, and that spectrum is not, you know, from left to right, from one end to another. It is a circular spectrum. 
Therefore, I think Milk Fed is a much, much smarter novel. I still preferred the Pisces because of how much I related to it and because I found it so darkly funny. When I'm laughing at the Pisces, I'm partly just laughing because it's funny in a very, very black comedy, dark comedy kind of way. But I'm also laughing because I am ashamed at how much I relate to a lot of it. Milk Fed, I didn't relate to. I mean, to a point, we all do. I have an unhealthy relationship to food, to eating, I've always been chubby, I come from a chubby family, all of that stuff, but that doesn't mean I related so much to Rachel as a character and her particular attitude towards food. So my connection to the Pisces feels pretty unique, to me at least, and that means that I love it. I also love the absurdity of the merman aspect, whereas this doesn't have anything like that. Ultimately, Milk Fed is smarter than the Pisces. It is emotionally smarter, it tackles grander themes, politics and religion come up a lot, and I think that the protagonist is subtly complex, whereas in the Pisces, her problems, her issues, her faults are on the surface. Whereas here, you understand Rachel right from the beginning, and yet she still continues to unfold like a flower as the book goes on. In the Pisces, that's not really the case. I wouldn't say that there's an arc. So Milkfed is probably better it's certainly smarter, but I prefer the Pisces. I prefer how indulgent it is. I prefer how much I relate to it. Was this a good video? <laughs> I don't know, but I enjoyed it. Subscribe for books. Enjoy my Patreon.